Good day. My name is Mike Kuhn. I'm the Southeastern Field Support Representative. Welcome to the Toolbox. Today we're going to talk about the TM pre-start inspection that can be found in your uh, operator's manual or on the platform. Let's get to it. The first thing we're going to check today is our document holder. The document holder contains our operator's manual and our manual of responsibilities that can be found on the side of the platform on the TMs. Again, make sure everything is legible. From there, we're going to go down and look at our batteries. Uh, before we do that, we want to make sure that you take any watches and rings off for safety uh, and recommended to wear safety glasses while you're doing this. Batteries are located on both sides of the machine and the side doors. You have four batteries, two on each side. Remove the battery caps. Make sure your fluid level is at least covering the top of the plates and the batteries. Next on the list of the batteries, let's make sure cables are all snug, that the, nothing is loose, connections are good, and that there's no corrosion buildup. And we want to do that for both sides of the machine. From here, we're going to go to the front wheel motors. The front wheel motors also have electrical connections on them, so we want to make sure they're good and tight. We have wheel motors on each side of the machine. Uh, for ease of right now, we're looking at uh, the left-hand side wheel motor. Make sure the cables are good and tight. The plugs are snug uh, and nothing is uh, uh, interfering. Uh, no cables are rubbing. Uh, we have no chafing anywhere. Uh, make sure that uh, everything's good on both sides. We also have electrical connections underneath the machine. Uh, they are on the power pack, uh, found on the power pack hydraulic motor. Uh, you have to actually reach up underneath the bottom of the machine to, to reach in to check those cable connections also. With the rest of our electrical components, let's also make sure that our diagnostic display center is working properly. Make sure it's lit, it shows our hours, and also our battery state of charge. Okay, now let's look at the TM structure. Uh, let's ensure that uh, all welds are in place. There's no deformation of uh, any of the, uh, the railing, the platforms, or the chassis. So to start with, let's, let's look at the, the front of the mast first. Front of the mast, make sure that the can sections in the mast has no damage. Look at the front and back wear pads, make sure they're in, in place. Look at the base of your platform, let's make sure that there's no debris preventing the platform from opening and closing properly. Make sure there's no deformation in the platform deck. Let's also look at the handrails. Make sure the handrails are, are damage free and that the deck slides out easily. Once the deck slid out, make sure that the slide rails are in good shape, no damage. We know it moved in and out, no debris underneath it stopping it from uh, sliding in and out. Let's also check the swing gate. Make sure the swing gate hardware is in place. The swing gate hinges are working correctly, are still spring loaded and closing the gates properly. Check the chassis. Make sure the welds are in good shape. Again, no damage anywhere. Everything's intact. No damage to the front. No damage to the sides or the rear. Okay, next on the list are the tires. We'll check the tires to make sure that they have no chunks taken out, no, no deep cuts in them. Everything's intact. We also want to check our lug nuts, make sure the lug nuts are not uh, loose, both on the drive wheel and on the idler wheel. Check the lug nuts back on the idler wheel. Okay, now let's check our hydraulic system. First thing that we want to check is the hydraulic tank reservoir level. To do that, open up the right hand side door and underneath the machine towards the center is a hydraulic reservoir. The reservoir has a cap that has a dipstick on the end of it. You want to remove the dipstick and make sure the oil level is at the proper indicator on the dipstick. So let's move on to the lower control station. At the lower control station, we want to check our function operations, our emergency stop switch, uh, on and off, our platform select and our ground select switch. Make sure it operates and functions properly. Our lift and lower button and then our park brake release switch. We also want to look at our battery charger plug 
and also our power to platform plug. Let's make sure that there's no damage there. So I want to move over to the right side of the machine and check our emergency disconnect switch. Let's make sure that the emergency disconnect switch turns the machine on and off properly. From here, let's move around to our emergency lowering valve and ensure that our emergency lowering system is working correctly. Pull the handle outward and make sure the machine lowers. Okay, let's move to our upper control station. On the upper control station, we want to make sure the upper control box is in good shape, not damaged in any way. Look at the joystick, make sure the enable switch is in place and working properly. Check our trigger guard, make sure the trigger guard's in place and not damaged. From the top of the box, we'll move to the front of the box and let's look at our, our drive lift switch. Make sure the drive lift switch is working properly when you switch it from drive to lift, that the machine does drive in the drive position and it lifts while it's in the lift position. Moving down to the bottom of the upper control box, let's check the operator's horn. Let's make sure the operator horn blows. Okay. Move to the right side and make sure the emergency stop switch uh, operates in and out. Uh, it disconnects the machine and repowers the machine when we pull it back out. At the bottom of the box, we have our power to platform. Let's make sure that the, the cap is in place, that the GFI circuit works by testing the test button on the GFI plug on the, uh, on the platform plug. Next, let's check our safety decals and placards. Safety decals and placards have to be legible, can't be covered up with paint, have to be completely legible. We want to look at all of them. Uh, our data plate, our control box information, safety uh, decals and placards on the mask. Everything needs to be legible. That concludes our TM12 walk around pre start inspection. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more helpful content on the toolbox.